Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hattrick with me, Alpha Pi Omega and FC Pinedo. So if you remember, last week I was really frustrated because we were supposed to win and we had a draw. Well, this week the game showed me the other side of the coin because we were definitely, and that was my best uh, estimation, supposed to lose and we had a draw. So I'm really ecstatic about that. <laughs> so as you know, we played against Sirop Nibik on the stadium with a B team and we still managed to not lose. I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy about this. But what I think is the truth is that they either completely underestimated us and also put a B team against us or they played it cool and had some injuries or something like that because as it turns out we were still able with a B team on their stadium as uh playing uh playing it cool <laughs> that's a hard way to say it uh able to have more possession than they did so when they had seven chances we had five and we managed to turn in two and they managed to turn in two so yeah the stadium was nearly full for every thousand 496 spectators. Uh, we had one yellow card uh, for Omar Bellone, but nobody got hurt. Everything seems really good. And when you look at the ratings, uh, total player experience on their side was much bigger than on ours, but midfield was the same. Uh, average defense, they had slightly more. Average attack, the same and total average the same so it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting to see this uh, as you see we played it cool we had no tactic they tried to play monster defensive so that might have also made a big difference not sure not sure but uh, i'm not gonna dispute this one because it is an amazing thing so what it's led to is the fact that we are still in the same position in the series, uh, we are third. Though Grizzly Bears now have 15 points and Pepperoni have 13, we are third with 9. Syrup Nibic, uh, is fourth with 8. And Orachipenzo is right behind them with 8 points as well. Chihafato Paolo uh, is behind them with 7. Join of Dice is 7th with 5 points. And Sporting Upo Solitario is last with just one point i really don't know what's going on with join them uh join never dies they lost every single match they were supposed to win and yes they're still in the cup but i don't know it's it's weird maybe they really are trying to get demoted or something i i don't know i, I don't understand their strategy here at all they were definitely the best team in the series and now they are one of the worst ones but it's not like the guy has threw in the towel no actually wow actually he did he joined on 12 and then on the 29th and that is more than a week now maybe he's giving up a bit Alan Manu I don't know what to say about that, quite honestly. Well, either way, uh, we are still on the third place, which is great. And uh, that is our goal for this season, as you guys know. Now, we have a couple of matches ahead of us. Uh, we are going to play against Chiha Fatopalo, and we'll be playing it cool as well. Then we'll be playing against Chiha Fatopalo again. And we'll be playing it normal because this one will be on their stadium, I believe. So this one is on ours. Yes, and then we'll be playing on theirs. And there we'll be playing normal, okay, on Belzebu Arena. And then we're playing against Syrup Nibic. And we'll be playing on our stadium. And I think we'll be playing it cool there as well. Or no, normal. Okay, so we have one more... Um, one more play cool and then two normal matches. Now, this is amazing because we are currently on walking on clouds. So the next play cool is going to put us on paradise on earth. And then I guess we're going to drop slightly, uh, but it doesn't matter. What's also amazing is that 
Uh, I played with the B team, so the A team is now free for the Bulls Pies uh, match. Yes, we won against Delirium uh, Forced. So we are still in the cup. We're still in the cup. And you can see here that well, the income was about 150,000k. So we got over 100,000 from this match. Uh, this week we will be playing on purple stadium okay so we're gonna get one third of the income but it might be more than 50k this time so extra money extra money for us we're you know we're winning a bit uh this week but it's fine we are you know most interested in the two week balance and it's gonna go up severely with uh the next week where we are playing on our stadium so overall we're doing Honestly, really, really great. Fans are also very happy with this result. Uh, we are gaining, you know, 10 per week, which means we are at 1870. So we'll strike this goal of 1900 uh, fans at the end of the season, definitely. And with a bit of luck, we'll end up third. So all of the goals that we are setting for ourselves for this season are within our grasps. Finances are great. We are at 1.32 million with a potential of getting two, maybe two and a half million at the end of the season. Amazing. And as far as trading goes, when you check it out, we had Joseph Wellon, one of our trainees, reach playmaking of 15. Putting us in a really interesting situation because when you look at the TSI, we are starting to get really interesting players. We have uh, Zigur Bittis and Joseph Bellon, both 22 years old, with playmaking of uh, Titanic. And both of them have defending of Excellent. And they are both, um, they both have head specialties and very good form and stamina. Uh, then the next one on the list, actually, I'm gonna sort it by playmaking is Albino Guarnelli, which is our uh, actual home, or, you know, he's our own player. We raised him from the very beginning. So he has playmaking of world class. Uh, we still put him in the matches, so he is slowly improving. But again, he would be a good candidate for a potential transfer as well. Even though he wouldn't give us that much, he is definitely one that we might be interested in selling down the line. Then we got uh, Eugenio Serna Parea with 13, Omar Bellone 13, Cosmen Periano 12, another uh, with a mother club bonus. Then we got Diego Arna with playmaking of 12, Massimo Galbi with playmaking of 11, and the Romano Nota with playmaking of 10. So we have a lot of players here, and I'm really interested in. I don't know if we should sell these guys. Uh, they're our core players. So it might be better maybe to sell someone like uh, Eugenio. Because he would also sell for a pretty decent money. And we could use this to get a better goalie, which is our main uh, target for the next season. And we would keep the best players. Because if we sell the guys at 15 again, we're going to drop. Even if we put the trainees with 13 in there, it's going to be a big drop in performance. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see how well we're going to perform with other uh, boosts to our statistics we're going to have. And we'll have to decide based on that. But again, we got, you know, uh, Omar Bellona, for example, with defending of Formidable. So this guy would be an upgrade to uh, defending. And I think he also has... Yeah, he has better passing and scoring than the guys we have now. So when he gets to 15, he's going to be better. But, you know, that's still a couple weeks uh, left. And we'll see. I don't see a big reason to train these guys to 16, 17. You know, have them go that high. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a question of utility. And selling them down would probably yield us the biggest amount of money. And this kind of money would be great. I'll have to see what we can do, how much money we'll have at the end of the season, uh, what's our goal. So we might maybe sell one of them, get two trainees and a goalie. 
I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely mm, it's definitely good to mention that uh, defense uh, could get a revamp. Uh, we did good with uh, boosts to forwards, so that is fine. Uh, but Kazimir Sirotsky would be also a candidate for switching him. Though we have Mato Savic here, who is you know much better, so that guy would help us definitely to to make this slightly better. I don't know. It's um, it's a question of utility. We need to make sure that uh, things are going our way. So goalie is the one that we would want because I have been reading a bit on the uh, stamina. And with this kind of stamina at this kind of age, he is performing somewhere between 70 and 30% during the match. So even though he is a keeper of 11, he is definitely not a good guy to keep around. And same with uh, Pani Vejic, they are, they are really old. So we need a single goalie with a um, statistic of, I don't know, 10 would be better than these guys, both of them. So it is something to keep in mind. Anyway, I think that's all for this week. Uh, we're doing really darn good. We've been really lucky and really unlucky last week, but... Uh, the fact that we're keeping on the third place is what makes me happy. And with a bit of luck, we are going to win the next three matches. Against Pepperoni, we're going to be playing on their stadium. And that one actually might be worth playing as a match of the season. Definitely a normal one, if not. But uh, winning the next three matches would put us to score of 18. And that would, you know, probably solidify our position on the third spot. And if we defeat Pepperoni, it might even give us a shot at second place. I don't want to dream, but it is a possibility. So we'll see. We'll see. You can see that we were also second for a bit, and now we're holding the third place. But it's, you know, we're not even halfway through. So uh, it's a bit too early to make any definite statements of that sort. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you next week with an, another update on FC Pinedo. And uh, we'll see how we'll, how we'll progress then. Because uh, it can go wrong. It can definitely go wrong. But so far, it's going really well.